Good evening, everybody. How are you all tonight? And welcome to the Halifax and Regional Military Family Resources Center. Welcome to our virtual East Coast kitchen party. And we've got a wonderful lot of entertainment lined up for you. We've got some great earners coming in. I'm Jimmy Flynn, and what a day I had. I got stopped by the police coming down here, and the police come up to the window and said, Sir, do they have any idea why I pulled you over? And I said, Officer, if you can't remember, I'm not telling you. <laughs> Should we do with a drunken sailor? Now, when I say hooray, you guys say up to your eyes. The time one time. Hooray, up to your eyes. Hooray, up to your All right, we get a few hands clapping. We get a party going. Oh, what do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? My buddy went to see a dentist. The dentist said, what's the matter with you? He said, I think I'm a moth. He said, you think you're a moth? He said, you shouldn't come see me. You should go see a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Why would you come see me? I'm a dentist. He said, your light was on. <laughs> I love that one. That's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to have a lot of fun traveling all over the country. We were, um, uh, down to Florida, Texas, Arizona, California, everything's big in Texas. This guy came up and said, where the heck are you from, boy? I said, Newfoundland, sir, up in Canada. He said, you got any property up there, have you, boy? I said, yes, sir, a couple acres. He goes, ah, a couple acres? He said, boy, I can get my, my truck over there and drive for almost four miles. I wouldn't get down to my property. I said, yeah, I used to have a truck like that. <laughs> And I have a long yellow dog at me too. He said, what kind of dog is that? Oh, that's my long yellow dog. He said, that's the ugliest dog I've ever seen in my life. I said, thank you very much. He said, can that dog fight? I said, I bet he can fight. He bet me a thousand dollars a long yellow dog wouldn't be the pit bull. Took them both, put them in the pen, wasn't there two seconds. A long yellow dog hit the pit bull, gulp, one point. He said, what kind of dog is that anyway? I said, before I cut the tail off it and paint it all yellow, it was a crocodile. <laughs> Oh, well, we've we been living in such a great country, Canada, and, that, and, I, and I know up in Ontario, there's a lot, a lot of problems with power bills. Like the old trish is getting rather crazy. Anyway, down near Hamilton, this guy came up and knocked on the door of this woman's house. She was about 80 years old, and she opened the door, and the family said, Ma'am, I'd like to do a demonstration for you. I'm a vacuum cleaner salesman. And she said, I'm not interested. She went to close the door, and he put his foot in the door. And she said, ma'am, you don't want to miss this. This is a Dyson vacuum cleaner, the most powerful vacuum cleaner we got in the world. And when he's saying this, he took a whole big box of horse manure and put it all over the carpet like that. And said, that vacuum cleaner doesn't suck all that up. I'll eat what's left. She said, I'll be right back. She said, where are you going? She said, I'm going to the spoon. He said, what for? She said, they cut my power off two weeks ago. <laughs> Christmas and stuff, this COVID stuff is getting kind of crazy. Rules are changing. Remember when they used to say, I wouldn't touch that guy with a 10 foot pole? <laughs> now it's down to six feet. <laughs> anyway, new diary song for you. Let's get every hand clap and get a party going. Come get your thing to know. Their drugs are bound across the water. Heave away, me job is heave away. Come get your thing to know. Their drugs are bound to leave tomorrow. Heave away, me job is all in Here's the garden, everyone is on the 
Jason Price is a country singer, songwriter from Lawrencetown, Nova Scotia. Take it away, Jason. Hey, thanks, Jimmy. Jason Price here. I hear we're neighbors. I'm like six kilometers away, so we're definitely social distanced. I, uh, I want to thank uh, Jill for bringing me in here for the MFRC and uh, letting me play to the military members. It's always a special thing for me. Um, my dad was a former CF pilot. He was in the search and rescue program. And so the very first song I'm going to do for you guys, it's, it's off my first album, Grit, Guts, and Country Pride. Second song I ever wrote, it's called For That, that Others May Live, uh, the Chopper song is how it's affectionately branded. Hope you like it. <laughs> fire in their eyes, knowing they're about to risk it all. It ain't if they're gonna do it, they know they're gonna go. They're waiting for a rescue on the radio. Ain't in it for the glory, ain't in it for a story. It's all so that others may live. And everybody's yelling, Chopper, are you coming? Get me home to my kid. I'm much obliged to you boys and orange. I hope I never see you again I should have known better when I got out here And saw that swinging mast the Chopper, I was hoping that you were coming to save my hands A little blinking light in a world that's cold and black On a night no man should see Spot her in the window seeing something shining back There ain't no way these boys will fail that ship is sinking fast, little boy just wants his dad. Pilots in a huff, the ocean's fighting mad. Ain't in it for the glory, ain't in it for a story. It's all so that others may live. 
And everybody's yelling, Chopper, are you coming? Get me on to my kin. I'm much obliged to you, boys and orange, and I hope I never see you again. I should have known better when I got out of here. Saw that swinging mast. Now, Chopper, I was hoping that you were coming to save my Wait to see their kids. Not a single one of them will tell them what they did. They keep their humble pride inside, knowing that they risk their lives all so that others may. And everybody's yelling, Chopper, are you coming? Get me home to my kid. I'm much obliged to you, boys and orange. I hope I never see you again. Should've known better when I got out of here I saw that swinging mast Now Chopper, I was hoping And I was praying to God That you were coming to save Coming to save Coming to save my Hey guys, that was That Others May Live. I hope you liked it. I got a new album out. That one was off the last album. This one's off the new album. It's called The Five W's. The album is called 27. It's on Spotify. It's on uh, Apple Music. On my website, jasonpricecountry.com. This one's for anybody that's been questioned at home, questioned at work. It's called The Five W's for a reason. Check it out. Don't know why I do the things I do. I guess I'm still working it out. I try to be a good man the way my dad taught me to. But lately, I traveled the wrong route. Well, I've got an angel going on 10 years. But I guess I heard her bad this time Yeah, I can blame it on the whiskey The honky tongs and the beer But I know that I'm still gonna pay for my crimes And I think I'm getting sentenced tonight Over who I was with And what I've done Where I've slept When I've gone Prosecution got a slam dunk case, and I ain't got a leg to stand on here. I could plead the fifth, but it's on my face. I think I'm gonna pay for this for years over who I was with and what I've done, and where I've slept. Slip when I've gone, I'm 
still here And why I'm so me The who, how, why, what, when Where the hell I been Yeah, the who, how, why, what, when Hell I be <laughs> Well, that's it for me. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, Jimmy, back over to you, my friend. And hey, I might stop by for a little cup of sugar or something. You're in the neighborhood. Well, how about that, everybody? That's a great big hand for Jason Price. Come on, give him a big hand. Now, on the phone, hey. Quite a night. We're glad you're all here and you're all safe. And uh, I'm going to start off with this set with a, a song uh, from Ireland. Any Irish people here? I'm a, well, I was in Ireland last year. My people come from Ireland. And I was asking the fellow for directions. So I asked him, I uh, said, Do you tell me where the grocery store is at? And he said, uh, Yes, you get down to the corner, turn right. When you get to that corner, turn right. When you get to the next corner, you turn right. And when you get to that corner, you turn right again. I said, But did that? He was standing right here. He said, That's what I'm trying to tell you. Grocery stores right across the street. <laughs> okay, here's a song called The Wire Rover. It goes, No Name Never, and it's four claps your hands. Let's watch one. And it's No Name Never. One, two, three, four. You got it? Okay. All the little guys, all the big guys had to do it. Here we go. And it's No Name Never.
great out there. And I heard her and y'all had swaying and singing and all that stuff, but it's a fun night here tonight, I can tell you right now. There's a ferry boat that runs from Halifax to Dartmouth every half an hour an hour. I got down there last week about two minutes after one. The ferry boat was about 10 feet in the dock. I didn't want to miss it. I figured I could run and jump, I could make it. So I flew through the air, landed on the deck of the ferry boat, tumbled on the corner of my head. I was real pleased with, pleased with myself. I said to the guy beside me, I made it! He said, you shouldn't have bothered. The boat's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> my brother went to the bar barber the other day. He said he wanted his hair cut like Alice Presley. And the barber shaved all his hair off. And my brother said, Alice doesn't have his hair cut like that. And the barber said, he wouldn't be coming here. <laughs> I remember one time a buddy of mine, he had joined the armed forces actually, and he went to the first day there, you get a haircut, you have long sideburns, long hair. So the, the barber says to him, he said, uh, do you like to keep your sideburns? And he said, yes, I would. He said, good, I'll get you a paper bag to put them in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another little funny joke for you. Uh, <clears throat> there's a million of them. Um, Oh, the snake, the snake, <laughs> I just got to tell you, that the snake goes get glasses, so he gets his glasses, and he comes home, and he's home for a couple of days, so the people phoned him up and said, how are you getting along with your glasses? He said, the glasses are fine, he said, but I'm getting very depressed. He said, what are you depressed about? He said, well, since I got my glasses, I found out I was dating a piece of rubber hose for two weeks. <laughs> Farewell to Nova Scotia, you see them go to let you down in dirt and beat my knees. For when I'm far away on a Friday of Chiton, we never heed a sign or a wish for a bee. All the songs and taking it when the birds were singing on every tree. All they to see when we cried for rent. granddaughters and the youngest one is two years old so I went to see this elderly lady a couple of weeks ago and she, had, she wasn't feeling well and she was in bed and she had her top teeth from the bottom of her in a, a glass by the bed so my little three-year-old granddaughter went up and stared at the teeth and stared at the teeth never said nothing and when we're leaving she took me by the hand and says Grampy the tooth fairy is going to have a tough time with that one <laughs> oh children they say the funniest thing when they started school this year <laughs> they came home from school, so I said to my granddaughter, I said, how do you like school? She says, Grampy, I can't understand it. I said, what do you mean? Well, she said, <clears throat> I can't spell, I can't read, and now I'm going to school, I'm not allowed to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
And now, folks, we've got some more special guests for you. We've got Barbara Gillis and her daughter, Catherine, and son John, all the way from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. You're going to love them. Here they are. Here we go. Oh, the year was 1778. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. A letter of mark came from the king to the scummiest vessel I've ever seen. God damn them all. I was told we cruised the seas for American gold. We fire no guns, shed no tears. No, I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. Oh, well said Barrett, cried the town. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. For twenty brave men, all fishermen who would make for him the antelope's crew, God damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. They'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. The antelope sloop was a sickening sight. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. She had a list to the port and her sails and rags and the cook and the scuppers with the staggers and jack. Good damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. No, I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. On the king's birthday we put to sea. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. We were not Pumping like madmen all the way, god damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. On the 96th day we sailed again, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. What a bloody great Yankee hove in sight, with a crack four pounders we made to fight. God damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. The Yankee lay low down with gold. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. She was broad and fat and loose in the days, but to catch her took the antelope two whole days. God damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. No, I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. Then at length we stood two cables away. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. Our cracked four pounders made an awful din, but with one fat ball the ink stove us in. God damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. The antelope shook and pitched on her side. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. Barrett was smashed like a bowl of eggs, and the main truck carried off both me legs. God damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. <clears throat> so here I lay in my 23rd year. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. It's been six years since we sailed away, and I just made Halifax yesterday. God damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. <laughs> we can't do any more takes of that. I'll be, I'll be dead tomorrow. <laughs> See everybody. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara, Kath, and John. Give them a great big hand. Isn't that wonderful? They've done over 500 songs on the YouTube to help people out during these hard times to keep them laughing and singing and clapping. And come on, give them one more great big hand. They deserve it. I should see a family working together. I had a couple of requests to come up here, and uh, so I'm going to do a song that was written by the Rick. Great Ron Hines is called Sunny's Dream, so join in, clap along. Come on. Sunny lives on the fur in a wild space. You can take off your sneakers and give up the race. You can lay down your head by the street of your bed. Sunny, I'll bet you remember the words that Mama said, and she said, Oh, Sunny, don't. Get so long. 
great big hand for all our men and women in uniform and their spouses. Give them a great big hand for taking care of us and supporting our country and keeping us all safe. And take another big hand for all the wonderful entertainment. Come on, let's hear it for them. I always tell people I know where we go, we're going to meet again somewhere down the line. So I'm going to finish off the show here with a little song called Somewhere Down the Line. So I'm going to say, we're going to meet again someday. And you guys say, somewhere down the line. We're going to meet again someday. Somewhere down the line, let's try one more time. We're gonna meet again someday, somewhere down the line. I don't know where or when, another place, another time. And we'll sing some good old songs and stories on the line. We're gonna meet again, my friends, somewhere down the line. Another show is over, another day gone by. Good friends all around us, by the time that flies. and keep you until we meet again. Enjoy your rest of your night. Thanks so much.